Infamous here in beautiful, sexy, spicy South Beach. Tonight we're at the Colony Theater in beautiful Lincoln Road Mall. Tonight is the minor premiere of The Latina List. It's a documentary about how it is to be Latina and struggle through all of the ups and downs of being Latina and being proud of your heritage. It's going to be airing at the end of September on HBO. I think it's kind of in honor of National History So tonight, we're going to be here on the red carpet. There are going to be some fabulous, fabulous celebrities. Kid Bill, Gloria Stefan, Emilia Stefan. And of course, we'll also be meeting with the director and the filmmaker of this wonderful movie. He also did The Blacklist, and he's known for his wonderful, wonderful photography. So stay tuned with Miss Finesse to find out more about who's who in South Beach this week. We're here with world-renowned photographer and director Timothy Greenfield Sanders. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Thanks for coming. Wonderful. I'm so excited for you and this whole uh, series of lists that you're doing. Tonight we're here for the Latino list. Exactly. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, what inspired you to move ahead with the project? The, the Latino list is really an extension of the Blacklist, which was my previous film, three films for HBO that was about the African-American experience in America. Achievement, struggle, identity, all these issues that we all love to talk about. And so we felt that it was very important with Latinos to do the same. And it's a little more complicated because it's not just men and women and professions here, it's nationality as well, ethnicity. So we wanted to have Cubans represented and Mexican, and Puerto Rican, Honduran, you know, a wide range. Okay, very good. And you had a display of all of your photographs at the Brooklyn Museum, yes, correct? Yes, thank you. Yeah. How was that received and what kind of buzz did that generate for you? The, my portraits, because I'm you know, originally a photographer, and my portraits are hanging at the Brooklyn Museum now um, of all 25 people who were in the project, and that'll be up for uh, four months uh, through December. And also the Blacklist show, uh, portraits, all 50 of them, opens at the National Portrait Gallery in Washington at the end of October for six months, so, and sponsored by AT&T, who helped us make this possible, so. That's amazing, that's amazing. Yeah. Any other lists that we yeah. should know about, your fans want to know? I'm doing two new films right now, one called Generation 8, which is the LGBT community. It's a view of the post-Proposition 8 world of gay rights, and I'm doing a, a film called About Face, which will be on HBO, which is about beauty through the eyes of supermodels from the 1950s to the 1990s. So women between 40 and 80 years old who were gorgeous and still are and how they've dealt with getting older and how they dealt with their beauty. That's just fascinating. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. It's an honor to meet you. Thank and you. I can't wait to see more of your exposed work. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Happy to be on your show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Angels. Stars have come and gone, and the premiere was a big hit. Make sure that you go to HBO.com to find out exactly when it's going to be airing at the end of September. Until next time, Angels, keep your Pradas on the ground, and keep on viviendo grande Latino style.